Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Adamo, and I'm back once again to hit you guys up with some knowledge. This time it's about finding a house that you'd like to move into. Now, there's a good few things that you actually have to think about when moving into a new house, so hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a hand with some of the info and little tips that you might need. House hunting! And are you ready to rent? Choosing somewhere to live is a pretty gosh dang big decision, and it's kind of important because, you know, you have to live there. From the start of the academic year, some landlord agents and student housing providers will run campaigns to try and get you to sign to a contract early, even stating that if you don't get in quickly, you won't have a place to live next year. Do not worry, my friends! This isn't actually true, as there's loads of places available towards the end of the year. You really don't need to rush into things, so take a step back, grab a cup of your favourite hot beverage, and relax. Only sign into a contract if you're sure you're getting the best deal. There's nothing in this mug. Right, so we're cool. You're not pressured to get a house just yet. That's good, because you've got to think about something kind of important now. Which lucky boys and grills are you going to share a space with for the next year? Uni is an interesting time in that people and friendships change, so someone you might be good mates with at Christmas might be someone you don't really get along with at the end of the year. I'm just like me and everyone loves you. Right? Right? Seriously though, waiting later to find people is advisable. However, if there are certain people that you really want to live with next year, there's no reason you can't all start looking for a house together. However, should you be struggling to find people to live with, you can go to this link here, which is an online notice board for finding flatmates. I would argue that the main things for finding new flatmates are what they want out of the living situation, and if you can get on with them the majority of the time. You never truly know what someone's like until you start living with them, and you find out that they freeze their bread. And stuff. Boom, you've got your house squad sorted. But what now? Well now you've got to start collecting some info and doing some research. Oh, guys, no, 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 it's, it's, you've got to do it. It'll make the house situation. But honestly, doing some research will really help you out in the long run when it comes to finding a house. There's quite a lot of things for you to consider when researching into a house, so there'll be some links in the description to help you out with it. But one tip I found generally quite helpful is to make a list of all the things that you want in the house and then rank them so you know what you primarily want most. Make sure you know if the house you're looking at is inclusive as bills, because whilst it can be cheaper if you don't use the utilities as much, it can also be a lot more expensive and it's a bit of a hassle to have to budget for all of that. Yeah, Lazy Squad Unite. Well, you know what you're looking for now, so surely finding a house must be easy, right? Well, It may not be the walk in the park that you might think. That's why you need the power of teamwork! If you have a group of people searching for properties at the same time, you can find ones that suit your general group. And also, since you've got a group of people searching, you'll find them with more speed and efficiency. When you've selected a few options, it's time for you to book some viewings. This is the opportunity to ask key questions and get information that wouldn't necessarily be available on the website, such as how big are the rooms? What's the electricity limit? Is it haunted? Other things like that, you know. So you found a place. You're pretty sure you're all good to go. So surely all that's left is to sign the contract, right? But before you sign anything, it might be a good idea to go to the university's advice service who can help you out looking through the contract to make sure it's all good. However, if you just want a quick checklist to run down, do you know who you want to live with next year? Do you know enough about local housing options? Is your landlord accredited? Do you know if the price is fair? Do you know if you can trust the provider? Do you know if the contract's right? Do you know your rights? Your rights. Right. Well, that's it from your resident blackboard guy, but hopefully this video has given you some good info and advice on what to do when looking for a house. But the biggest bit of advice that I can give you is don't rush things. Take your time with it. You really don't need to speed along doing all this, and you'll probably be better off if you just take it slow and relax. There'll be some links in the description with more helpful info and advice should you want to look at that. But thank you very much for watching this video, and catch you later.